Okay, so you have Professor Ghazali, and guess what? He's the toughest prof. But you probably know that. So how should you study for the first test? My advice, do the past test first. Do the questions, practice the questions first. If you can do the questions, then you understand the concept. If you can't do the questions, then you know what to study. And if you do it that way, it's more efficient. If you study the normal way, the typical way, the average way, like I did, then you're going to get the typical average mark. To beat the average, you must study differently. And differently means focusing on the past test first. At the beginning of the year, I asked a student, I go, did you know yet that Ghazali is hard? She goes, yes. I go, how do you know? She goes, my cousin had him last year. I go, how did your cousin do? She goes, she did well. I go, oh, how did she study? She said, her cousin did all of the questions. She focused on the questions. Focusing and doing and practicing the questions resulted in her doing well. I agree. Second, don't be nervous. It's difficult. You're a first year student. How many tests have you written in university? Zero. You're going to be nervous and when you're nervous you perform worse. That's a fact. You must practice to overcome nervousness. Every year the students say, past test was easy, the one they wrote was hard. Next year the students are going to say, your test was easy, but the one they wrote was hard. How could that be? Something doesn't make sense. The answer was nervousness. The test that they wrote and the test that you wrote, you were nervous. Why don't second and third year students have that problem? Why aren't they failing? Why aren't they dropping out? Because they're not nervous. They've written tests, first year tests. They have experience. They're no longer nervous. So if you can overcome nervousness and study from past tests, those two together, you got a good chance to do well. Good luck.